and girls, today for me, it is Monday, April 27th, but by the time you're watching this video, it might be April 28th on Tuesday. So hello to everyone. I hope we've all been doing great with our distance learning and we've been having some fun. So here's what I need you to do. First things first, we're going to stretch. Stretch all the way out. Stretch. Oh, that feels good. Stretch. you right. Oh, that's nice. And I want you to roll your shoulders back. If you're like me and you've been sitting in a chair all day and you haven't been able to move very much, this probably feels really nice for you right now. All right. Ooh, here's what I need you to do. We're going to warm up our voices. Can you go? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I want you to go. Ooh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And here to help me find my notes. This is my husband's ukulele. Technically, it's not my ukulele, but I like to borrow it. Eyes up here. Can you go? If you're being my echo, thank you. If you're not, that's okay. Let's try it again. Excellent. So now that we've warmed up our voices just a little bit, I want to go ahead and take a look at some of our rhythm practice that we did last time with our Taz and our TTs. So let's go ahead and take a look. I already have it set up for you, right? I hope this works. It's not working. Here you go. Sometimes I'm having some technology problems, but take a look at this. We already know how to use this pattern and clap it and say it, right? So let's go ahead and try clapping and saying this pattern all together. Are you ready? Here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Easy peasy, right? Let's try the next one together. Ready? Clap and say this with me. Here we go. Ta, t, 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 t. Ah, this is too easy for most of you. So let's throw in our rest here. Do you remember what a rest does? Do you remember how many sounds a rest makes? Let's try clapping and saying this one together, shall we? Here we go. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Now, I want you to stop and think about it for a second. How did you show this rest right here? How did you show that rest? I wonder. If you were showing this on your body during a rest, that means you got it right. So let's go ahead and try doing this pattern again, shall we? Ready? Here we go. Ta, ti, ti, ta. If that's how you clapped and said it, perfect. Let's give you another one. Ooh, look at the number of rests. Let's clap and say this together. Ready? Here we go. T, T, Ta. I really hope that you remember to show me both of the rest by doing this two times. Let's try it again together. Here we go. T, T, Ta. Excellent. Give yourself a little bit of a wiggle. And we're going to do something that we haven't done in a really long time. I want you to go ahead and search your memory for this song that I'm about to show you. Ready? Let's listen and watch. All right, ukulele, help me out here. I don't want to sing too low or too high. Are you ready? Bow, wow, wow. Show me a thumbs up if you remember this song. Now, I know that we're not all together, so we can't really do the game part of this. You might be able to do the game part with a family member or somebody else who lives in your house with you. Or you might even just be able to pretend and have fun hopping around and arfing like a dog because who doesn't love that? But just in case you don't remember, I want you to look at the words for this song for me. Are you ready? Do you think you can sing this song with me? Ready? Here we go. Bow, wow, wow. All right, so just in case you forgot, look at the words over here. 
art thou is just a really old way of saying are you. So whose dog are you? So in case that was confusing. Now let's go ahead and look at the words again. And I want you to think, hmm, I see these rhythms here on the side. I want you to figure out how to put the right rhythms in each of these bubbles. It's been a little while, so we're gonna work on this all together. Let's review something about our rhythms. If you look at all three of these rhythms, you're gonna see that ta and tt have little dots telling you how many sounds they make. Do you remember how many sounds a rest makes? Absolutely nothing, nada, N nothing, nilch, zero, zip, uh-uh, no sounds. But ta makes one sound and tt makes two sounds. And the easy way you can tell how many sounds something makes is by looking at the number of dots that music note has. So ta makes one sound because it has one bubble. And tt makes two sounds because it has two bubbles. But our rest doesn't make any sounds because it doesn't have any bubbles. Thumbs up if you remember that. Let's see if you've got thumbs. Excellent. So what I want you to do now is take a look at our song. What I want you to do is take your favorite little pokey finger and I want you to poke each of the bubbles. I'm going to do it with my little cursor over here. And I want you to figure out how many sounds each of these bubbles have. I'm only going to do the first sentence and I'm going to try and mark it with this purple marker every time I hear a sound. Ready? I'm going to sing the first sentence for you. Here we go. Bow, wow, wow. Oh, okay. So what I'm seeing here is if a sentence, let's see, if a bubble has one mark, then that probably means I need to find the rhythm that makes one sound. Let's look back at our other page that I showed you before. Which rhythm do you see that makes only one sound? Think, is it ta, tt, or rest? If you're saying it's ta, that means you're correct. This bubble only made one sound. So I'm gonna put a ta right over here. How many sounds did this bubble here make? The word wow has only one syllable. Do you remember what a syllable is? It's how many sounds a word makes. So wow only makes one sound. That's why I only had one mark here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another ta. I'm gonna put it here. And the last one, oh look, it's the same word. I don't know if you noticed that. Did you notice that? It's the same word, so I'm gonna drag another ta here. And last but not least, we can't have any blank bubbles allowed. No blank bubbles. That means that we have to figure out what goes in here. I didn't hear any sounds in this bubble. So I think what we need to do is go back to our other page. Which rhythm do we know that doesn't make any sound? Let's check. Hmm, ta makes one, tt makes two. Our rest seems to be the one that doesn't make any sound. So I'm gonna put our rest right over here. Let's take a look. Can you say ta, ta, ta? You say ta, 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 and I'll sing the first sentence of the song. Here you go. Now this time you sing the first sentence and I'll say ta, 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 ready? Here you go. Ta, ta, ta. Did it match up perfectly? Because if it matched up perfectly, that means you got it right. So let's think. I'm pretty sure that we're able to do that part all by ourselves pretty easily. Well, not all by ourselves. I helped just a little. 
But I'm sure that if I asked you to do something like this by yourself, you totally could, as long as I gave you a good start. So I'm gonna go ahead and sing the whole song for you. And I'm going to poke each of those little bubbles. That way it'll help you figure out how many sounds are in there. What I want you to do is at the end of this video, you're gonna see a little link in the comment section and it's gonna take you to the first grade flip grid. What I want you to do is write down what you think the pattern is on a piece of paper. You can always rewind this video if you need some more practice, that's fine. But I want you to go ahead and draw 16 of those little beat bubbles and I want you to go ahead and write your own rhythm in it. Are you ready? Let's practice drawing a ta first, here we go. I hope this does it forward the right way. Here we go, here's ta. Mm -hmm down and one bubble. Don't forget to fill in the bubble all the way. Here's TT. Eh, 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 eh. And here's rest. This is the tricky one. With the rest, you have to draw a Z and a C. Here I go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope that worked out for you. Let's go ahead and go back to our song. I'm gonna go ahead and sing the song and keep track of the bubbles for you. Your job is to count how many sounds go in all the bubbles. It's gonna be kind of tricky, so be careful. Here we go. Are you ready? I'm gonna go ahead and help you just a little bit by keeping the steady beat in each of those bubbles. Your job is to go ahead and think, does ta, ti, ti, or a rest go inside the bubbles? Ready? Here we go. Ba -wa. All right, boys and girls. Once you figure out what the answer is, I want you to try writing it down. Draw your own little bubbles on a piece of paper. Remember, we practice drawing ta and tt and rest together. So take some time, put it on a piece of paper, and show me on Flipgrid. Don't forget, link is right over here. Excellent job today. I'll see you next week.